one of the best cooks in the family, had a hand in making the food. And her brothers, Kenny and Bobby Oliveira, brought it in for the home team. The second generation, born in the 40s and 50s like me, were still wrapped up in the cocoon of our neighborhood and families. By then, American-born Cape Verdeans were making a mark in the outside world. The American dream of education for the children in Fox Point became a reality in 1954 when a brand new elementary school was built. This was a school that your mother campaigned for all around this neighborhood. She was going around for people to sign to have a new school in this area. And they built the school down there. It wasn't really in this area where they were going to put it in the beginning because it would have displaced so many people. So they put it down there where there were no houses, right in the Takwatan Park. And that's where the school was. And your mother was the one that was going through the neighborhoods, getting people to know that we were going to have a new school here. My middle sister was in one of the first classes at the new elementary school. And me, the youngest by far of my sisters, entered there in kindergarten. My sisters were academic stars and gifted musicians. My oldest sister was the first girl from the point to go to college, closely followed by my other sister. I remember the frantic preparation for the feature story in the Providence Journal, complete with my father sitting in a Nazi and Harriet pose behind us. Later that night, at a big benefit dance for my sister at the Cape Verdean Club in East Providence, I posed again at the wishing well for contributions to our college fund and filled with dreams of a brighter future for the new generations born in America. It was the 1960s, and weren't we sharp? Looking sharp, spending all Saturday morning getting that hair conked, but it was worth it. Looking pretty, swaggering down Brook Street to Wicked and standing on the corner to see and be seen, longshoremen on a day off, a Sunday, holiday, or Easter, Whatever day it was, you know you could count on Johnny and his boys to be up to something. Oftentimes, we, when, when we got over, I'd say, let's go, let's go to Boston, let's go there, let's go there. You take Fox Point, put it on a trailer truck, and I'll go. I'm not leaving Fox Point. Everything, everything I want is right there. What you all, your stores, your restaurants, your gas stations, the boys club, uh, you know. I didn't need to go anywhere. I didn't have to leave Fox Point. For the Android gang, Granny's house was still Control Central on Easter Sunday in 1960.